Hi, my name is James Klim. This channel will be on zirconia. Yes, it's now available chair side. I really think this completes our menu for how we're gonna see the future in CAD CAM. Now, zirconia has always been a CAD CAM issue. The problem has been how do we center? Well, usually overnight. The new induction oven, the Speedfire oven by Sirona has changed that, as well as chair side dry milling. Now, don't worry. If you don't have a dry miller, you're gonna be just fine. You can wet mill and the oven will dry it for you in just 10 minutes. It just adds an extra 10 minutes to your process, but it's gonna work just fine. This is where I see zirconia for me. I use it in the shadows of the mouth, at least for now, but that could all change in the future. Remember, Emacs used to be called Empress 2, lithium disilicate. When that came out years ago, you had to cover it with ceramic because it was so ugly. That's kind of where zirconia is now, even though it's better. I'm looking forward to today where we're gonna have a zirconia similar to MT Emacs. Would that make you happy? That would make me really happy because with that, I can polish and be done. That type of procedure chair side will probably be about an hour and a half or slightly less, faster than Emacs. So one day we will polish. Right now, I need to enhance them to get them to blend. Zirconia is very opaque. Therefore, it looks really bright in the mouth. So you will find that an A2 is not an A2 in the mouth. An A2 is a bleach in the mouth. So what I'm doing is toning them down. I like GC Luster Paste for that, even though there's other ways to finish. But back to the basics of Zirconia. Your software is pretty much the same. Make sure you watch the software video in this section. There are a few parameters that I am gonna change just to make sure these restorations drop in. As far as milling goes, I use what we call fine mill. I don't use rapid mill. Why? You may get some margins chipping, particularly if you're using wet mill and diamonds. Even with the carbide mills, I'm seeing a little chipping on the rapid mill. So I use the fine normal mill. The other thing that I like about zirconia in the mouth is that you can try it in, adjust your occlusion fully before you cement. It's really important that when you do adjust that you really polish well. We're gonna go through the polishing options in this channel. But as far as processing this material, I'd say it's probably easier than anything I've ever done with CAD CAM. The reason why is when it mills out, it mills out the restoration fairly large, so you can't do a try-in until you center. Currently, it shrinks about 22%. So what's the value of that? Particularly with the carbide burr, it allows you to get a full mill of the occlusal table of what you see on your virtual design on the screen. See, with Emacs, our right burr is larger, so it doesn't mill to the depths of the grooves. With zirconia, it does. So once the zirconia comes out of the milling unit, all we have to do is cut off the sprue. And I put a little polishing into it so in the green state, so that way when it comes out of the centering oven, it's a lot easier. You will find that the speed fire furnace is exceptional. It is an induction oven. This is new technology for us. All you have to tell the oven is whether it's wet or dry milled. Other than that, it takes it for you. The firing times are somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes based on the size and color of the restoration. Your Ceric software will communicate to this furnace the size, the volume of that restoration, and also the color, and it will fire accordingly. This is incredible technology. Cementing these restorations is quite simple. It's kind of like cementing a gold crown. You can use zinc phosphate, Duralon. I prefer a resin glass ionomer. Why would I prefer a glass ionomer? Usually my margins are sub gingival, so I'm not trying to bond to enamel. Number two is I don't want to cement these restorations where they're going to be hard to get off someday. I want to be able to split the restoration and separate the crown so they come off the way we remove traditional PFMs and golds. Otherwise, we'll do hemisections if we bond these on. With IvyClean, removing the phospholipids and then putting a metal primer in there with resin, you can get over 30 megapascals of bond strength to the zirconia. I want that, but I don't want 
30 megapascals of bond strength to my dentin or my enamel because it becomes almost biologically monolithic and it's gonna be really hard to remove those later on. So we'll review all the steps in this channel. I'm really excited about this technology and I'm sure you're gonna be excited as well for your clinical theater. It's never been better. Thank you.